Hello and welcome to Getting Started with EBSCOhost Databases. Our agenda for today is as follows. You'll learn how to describe EBSCOhost Databases, perform a simple search, apply filters and limiters to results, view full text articles in HTML or PDF, employ tools to save, share and cite articles, and download and start using the EBSCO mobile app. First of all, what are EBSCOhost Databases? EBSCOhost Databases are a powerful online reference tool provided to you by your library. They offer a variety of full text articles from leading information providers to help you with your research. There are several different EBSCOhost Databases for different subject areas. The following are examples of EBSCOhost Databases that may be available in your library. They include Academic Search, Australian New Zealand Reference Centre Plus, Business Source, Sinal, Education Source, Hospitality and Tourism Complete, and Vocational Studies Complete. Please check with your library to confirm which EBSCOhost databases are available for you to access. On the EBSCOhost home screen, you will see either the Basic Search or Advanced Search as the default searching experience. The top toolbar offers additional features which may include a publication lookup tool, subject browsing and image collections. Note that the features available vary based on the databases selected. You can add or change the databases being searched at any time by clicking the Choose Databases link above the search box. Please note that regardless of which EBSCOhost database you select, you will have a similar navigation experience. After entering the database, the next step is to perform a search. Running a search on EBSCOhost is simple. To run a search, enter your search terms in the search box. As an example, let's search information technology. As you type, searches that match your terms appear below the search box. If you see your term in the list, you can click on a search term to go directly to the result list or you can click the search button. The results view will show you how many articles match back to your search terms. You can sort your results by relevance, date, author, or source. You can access page options to change the display of the results page. You can also view ways to share your results. Let's turn to using filters and limiters. In the results view, you can use the column on the left to refine your results. As an example, let's use the date slider to change the date range of the results. Let's change the from date to 2019. This helps to narrow down our results for greater accuracy. Let's scroll down to source type and select academic journals. Once again, we have narrowed down our search results this time to indicate that we specifically want content published in academic journals. Under subject thesaurus term, let's click show more. This allows us to view all available subject terms. Let's rearrange subject terms by name. And let's say that in addition to information technology, we're also looking at artificial intelligence. So I'm going to select artificial intelligence as a subject thesaurus term to focus on. After the page has updated, we can see that our results have filtered to those that are tagged with the subject term artificial intelligence alongside our original search term of information technology. Let's now talk about how to view full text. You can read an article by clicking on the HTML full text or the PDF full text link when available. HTML formatted articles provide you with the option to translate the article into one of several available languages. HTML articles also provide the option to listen to the article using the text-to-speech feature. Clicking a PDF full text link will allow you to view the full text in the PDF viewer. You can download the PDF by clicking the link at the top of the viewer. Under Inside This Work on the column on the left, you can access other articles from the same issue of your source or choose another issue. Let's find out how to access tools. You can view the tools menu in the right column 
of the detailed record, HTML full text view or PDF full text view. The tools menu allows you to add the article to Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive or to an EBSCO folder. Alternatively, you can print, email or save the article. You can also generate a citation for the article to use in a reference list, or you can export the article into a bibliographic management software such as EndNote, Mendeley or Zotero. In addition, you can click permalink to access a persistent link to the article, which you can then share to others in your institution. Need further help using EBSCOhost databases? Look no further than the help menu located on the top right corner of the EBSCOhost database you are accessing. The help guide provides instructions on searching using either the basic or advanced search boxes, browsing additional EBSCOhost features such as the thesaurus or publications, viewing results, including using filters and facets to refine results and reading an article in full text, print, email, save options, and at the very bottom of the help guide, you will see help instructions specific to the EBSCOhost database you've selected. Lastly, let's have a look through the EBSCO mobile app. The EBSCO mobile app provides you with an easy way to access your library's EBSCO databases. It's available for both Apple and Android devices from the iTunes App Store and Google Play Store. After downloading the app, Open it on your device and tap Get Started. Tap the search box and type in your institution's name or tap Use by Location to find it near your physical location. Select your institution from the list and click Connect your institution. Then use your library login credentials to sign in. From the mobile app home screen, you can access articles you've recently viewed articles recommended for you relevant to your search history, as well as discover recent subjects. To search the app, begin by tapping the magnifying glass in the menu at the bottom. Enter your search terms in the search box, then tap search on your device's keyboard to run the search, or tap a filter, such as peer-reviewed full text or date range, to apply it to your search. Your results will now be displayed. When viewing results, you have the ability to refine them by source type by tapping the filter below the search box. Then scroll through and tap an article or book title to see the details or read the full text when available. On the article screen, you can read the abstract or scroll down to view the article details. The more like this tab available on both the article or ebook screens will show you recommendations for other items related to the one you are viewing. You can tap an article or ebook in this list to view the detailed record and access the full text when available. If full text is available on an article you've selected, then tap access now to read the article in full. You may also click listen to have the article read to you. If you land on an ebook that is available to access, then tap the Access Now button to view your reading options. Tap Download eBook to check out the eBook and download it to your device to read it offline. Or tap Read Online to read the eBook in the app while you are online without downloading it to your device. After choosing to download the eBook to your device, use the plus minus buttons to select a checkout link and then tap the Download eBook button. The ebook is now downloaded and opened in the app, ready for you to read it. Need further help using the EBSCO mobile app? From the EBSCO mobile app menu, click on the person icon located to the far bottom right of the screen. Then click the help button located underneath the support heading. The link will take you to the EBSCO mobile app quick start guide, where you can find useful instructions on searching the app reading articles, reading ebooks, and much more. That concludes this demonstration of EBSCOhost databases and the EBSCO mobile app. If you have any questions about using the EBSCOhost databases, be sure to reach out to your friendly librarians.